Cracking down on love on the Brooklyn Bridge, sweethearts have long made the bridge a romantic spot and left their mark. But as CBS 2 Steve Langford reports, that's something the city isn't happy about. John Roebling might be amazed to see how his magnificent span has become a symbol of love. The Brooklyn Bridge now adorned with locks left by lovers, testifying to their eternal devotion. Many couples securing these locks and then throwing the key into the East River, a grand romantic gesture not appreciated by the city, which says it is removing these locks as fast as it can. They're taking them off. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it was a nice little extra feature. Uh, I think they should leave it. I don't see why not. It's not hurting anybody. The Department of Transportation says there are safety concerns for lovers and drivers below. The city reporting it has removed more than 5,600 love locks here in less than a year. I can see why it would be an issue, but I, I can also see why it's something beautiful. What's more, the city says this national historic landmark must not be damaged or altered. In Paris, where this may have all started, the Pont des Arts is loaded down with tens of thousands of these love locks. But while there are structural concerns about the weight, City Hall in Paris has made no serious move so far to stop the love. The suspension of belief here is not just a concern for authorities, as some who stroll this great bridge worry, too, about the love struck. I don't like the idea of people climbing out there. Something's going to happen. It needs to be safe. Perhaps they'll always have Paris. In Brooklyn, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. <laughs> Well, the city's Department of Transportation says removing these locks from the bridge can also be costly, and you're not going to like this. It may require temporary closure of some of the traffic lanes as well. All right, tough one there. Mm -hmm. well